Welcome to Life Journey. I'm your host, Theophilus Fernandez. So Life Journey Glory to God International is here for you. So if you have any question, it's my email address down on the bottom. You can ask me anything, anything that's comfortable, anything that needs to be, be answered. My friend, I'm here to, to, to please God and to prepare to answer question from God's people. Amen. So if you have any question, hey, glory to God, email me. And I, will, I don't care what it's about. Witchcraft, it's about sex, it's about salvation, it's about stress, it's about anything, my friend. I'm here to answer the question. Not my opinion, but through the word of God. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, bless this message. Oh God, it might touch some toes, might touch some people that's going through the storm. Bless right now. Oh God, we need to hear from you, oh God. Not to hear from flesh, not to hear from opinion, but to hear facts of life. Bless right now. Jesus, I pray. Amen. Matthew, the 28th chapter. Matthew, the 8th chapter, verse 28 and 29. That's Matthew, the 20, the 8th chapter, 28 29 verse and the Bible say and when he was come to the other side into the country of the Gizarines they met him to possess with devils coming out of the tomb exceedingly fierce so that no man could pass by that way and behold they cried out saying what have we to do with G Jesus thou son of God other come to hither to torment us before our time. I go to God. And I like to read from Mark the fifth chapter also. Mark the fifth chapter six stated that there was only one. But I like to just to, because this one give you more of a understanding. And Mark the fifth chapter say and when they came on over the other side in the, into the sea into the country of the gutters ring and when he was come out of the ship immediately they met him out of the tomb a man with an unclean spirit who had his dwelling among the tombs and no man could bind him no not with chains because he had been often bound with fetters and chain and a chain had plucked asunder by him and the fetters broken in pieces neither could any man tame him and always night and day he was in the mountain and the tomb crying and cutting himself with stone but when he saw Jesus far off he ran and worshiped him and cried with a loud voice saying what have I to do with thee Jesus thou son of the most high God I adjure thee by God thou, thou torment me not for he said unto him, Come out of the man, thou unclean spirit, evil spirit. And he asked him, What is thy name? And he answered, saying, My name is Legion, before we are many. And he besought him much that he would not send them away out of the country. Now there was there nigh mountain a great herd of swine feeding. And the devil sought him, saying, Send us into the swine, that we may enter into them. And wherewith Jesus gave them leave, and the unclean spirit went out and entered into the swine, and the herd went violently down a steep place into the sea. They were about two thousand, and they choked in the sea. And they fed the swine, fled, and tore it to the city, into the country. And they went out to see what it was that thou done. And they come to Jesus, and see him that was possessed with the devil, and had the legion sitting and clothed in his right mind. And they was afraid. Hallelujah. And they that saw it told that how it befell to him that was possessed with the devil 
and also concerning the swine. My message today is, is mental illness demonic or a mental disorder? Is mental illness, I just like to deal with bipolar today. I'm not going to deal with uh, schizophrenic, but I want to deal with bipolar because bipolar is a popular mental disorder. Hey, glory to God. You have a individual and they say that uh, uh, I haven't taken my pill, so I might go off on my bipolar situation. So my my subject today is, is, is mental illness demonic or is it just a, a mental disorder? So before I finish, I'm going to give you the answer. But let me deal with it according to the biblical standard of this man. This man, glory to God, he was sent away. He had, he had social distancing. He go to God. He was sent into the mountain and was sent in the cave in in the grave because no man could tame him because he was possessed with demons. What is demon? Demons are evil spirit. Demons are unclean spirit. Demons are spirit that gets into you and controls you. And the first place they deal with is your mind. They take over, glory to God, your your mental state. Hey, glory to God. So I like to say this, my friend, put a pin on this, that a psychiatrist cannot help you with a demon possession. When I say a psychiatrist, my friend, the only thing give you is pill to sedate it. He grow the pill to control your pill to make a lot of money rather than getting pill to glow to God to, 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 to give you deliverance. The pill does not deliver you. The pill is like a band-aid. When I say pill, the pharmaceutical is a band-aid. It's to make more money, make billions of dollars. So people that are bipolar or schizophrenic, my friend, they get a pill to control them, a pill, glory to God, to sedate them, and a pill, glory to God, to, to say that you're just going to be smothered for a little while, but it's not going to deliver you. Why would a person take pills, or why would a person go to to a psychiatrist and it and it put a they put they control you by 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 needles, control you by tie you down, rather than give a solution? The solution is Jesus Christ. So we see that this man, a glory to God, he was in the graveyard, and the Bible say, "Can no man tame him?" He glory to why? Because he was cutting himself with stone. He was strong because he was filled with demons. He was filled with legions. Legion mean thousand. Thou thousand of, of, of entities that was in this man controlling his destiny, controlling his behavior. He had a personality traits. And people, glory to God, have bipolar. They got personality trait. They are possessed with demons. Hey, glory to God. They possess with unclean spirit. And you got to take a pill to control you. My friend, my, my job today is to tell you, glory to God, you need, to be, you need to be delivered. You don't need to be controlled. You don't need to make the pharmaceutical or psychiatrist a lot of money because you got a problem of demonic. Hey, glory. So I'm telling somebody, glory to God, is mental, glory to God, illness demonic or a mental disorder he glory to god i'm gonna tell you the bible say this man had a demon this man had an unclean spirit matthew said there was two men mark said there was one he glory to god let's let's examine the scripture and see if the subject of bipolar demonic or is it a brain disorder i will be dealing with bipolar because it is a personality trait. It deal with behavior that switch up. Sometimes you are nice and sometimes you are mean. Sometimes, my friend, it amazing people would say, I have not taken my pill. Hey, glory to God. Why would a person run to a pill rather than hey, glory, want to be delivered? Because it's all about the money. It's all, glory to God, about the firm pharmaceutical glory to they make billions of dollars over a behavior that can be delivered i call it a band-aid syndrome 
hallelujah, band-aid. People want to be band-aid or rather heal. Hey, glory to God. It is a brainwashing scheme to get rich and the person stay bound. Hey, glory to God. They don't care if you get delivered. They don't care, my friend. They want to be rich. They want to drive their Mercedes bed. They want to have, they want to live in their big houses. They want to have money in the bank. Only you just take this pill and the pill will control you and we become rich and you become controlled. Amen. But this man, he glory to God, he was at a cemetery. He was he had a bipolar. He was bipolar and he was possessed with demons because these demons were thousand. How much there was? There were thousand, which is called legion, which means thousand in the military army in Rome. Hallelujah. He and the first thing he did, he ran to Jesus. Hey, glory to God. If you have a demon, the demon know who Jesus is. Why do you think people, hey, glory to God, hallelujah, that have filled with the Holy Ghost, when a demon comes up, a demon act solid or the demon act behave because there's power in the name of, if you mention Jesus, the demon will go off. And so the Bible says he ran to Jesus and Jesus said, what is your name? And the demon respond, our name, our legion. I spoke to this young lady, glory to God, hallelujah, and I was writing constantly because I was, I'm a, I got a, I'm a ministry of demon possession. If, if a person got a demon and I asked the person, what is your demon name? And they say that my demon name is Jackie. Jackie been around for over 20 years into this person and I'm trying to tell the individual to tell Jackie your house don't belong you don't belong in this house God is the person that belong in your house Jesus Christ the Holy Spirit belong in the house and the Bible say glory to God that when an unclean spirit leaves a man he walks through dry places and seek a rest and say glory if your house become empty if your house don't have the Holy Ghost my friend demon will come back into your house and the Bible say the last state is worse than the first state. So the Bible say, when the demon saw Jesus, he go to God, Jesus say, what is your name? And the demon respond and say, my name is Legion because we are many. And the demon's second request, my friend, he go to God, they say, don't cast it into the, into the country, but so cast us into the swine. It's amazing how demon was spoken, was speaking out of this man that was in the cemetery. The reverend people, hallelujah, uh, hallelujah uh, suggested his problem. He, they put him in isolation. And just like people put you in a psychiatrist rather than take you to church or take you to a person that has the power, he go to God is not the person, it's the authority of God. Look at the man, look in, in Acts the third chapter. Acts the third chapter, this man was sitting at the gate, hey, glory, called, called beautiful. Hey, glory, he was sitting at, at, at Solomon Temple, and everybody was giving this man arms, and they go into the temple and they praise and worship God. But Peter recognized this man need help. He don't need no arms. He go to God. And the Bible say Peter looked at the man and Peter said silver and gold have I none but such I have I give unto thee in the name of Jesus Christ rise up and walk. And the Bible say the man legs came together. And the Bible said the man, glory to God, got up and started walking. And he went into the temple. He glory to God. And when he came out of the temple, people was praising Peter and disciples. But Peter said, no, don't give me the credit. Give the credit to the, your father Abraham, your father Jacob, and the father Isaac. And it's all because in the name of Jesus. It's not because of my holiness, but it's because of the authority of God. What I'm saying today, my friend, if you have a, 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 a problem of, hallelujah, mental disorder, I'm telling you what to do, what you ought to do. You ought to get in contact with Jesus Christ. You ought to get with contact with somebody that have the ministry of deliverance hallelujah and i'm a person i got the ministry of deliverance i know this young lady 
she was possessed with demons. Hey, glory to God. And she was looking for me because, glory to God, I was close to God. And when I took her, glory to God, to the church called Baptized Believer, me and her was in the church, my friend. And I was telling the demon, shut up. It's time for you to get delivered. It's time for you to come out right now. Hey, glory. I don't want to hear your voice no more because we're going to cast you out of this house. And the Bible, glory to God, say glory to God in the name of Jesus Christ, the demon came out of the girl. But before the demon came out, the demon got her on the floor and wallowing and doing all the things. And glory to God, before that now, there's other pastors coming in and the pastor ought to slap the, the pastor, the demon that's in this young lady ought to slap the pastor. And the pastor said, don't even think about it. Put your hand down, Satan. And the Bible say, hey, glory to God, how the young lady was controlled by a demon and the demon would have slapped the pastor and the pastor said don't even think about it demon and the demon dropped her, her hand and she was delivered what I'm saying to you my friend there's power in the name of Jesus there's power in the blood of Jesus and if you got a demon called bipolar my friend stop taking the pill and get the potentate stop taking the pill and get the power of the Holy Ghost the, whole, the power of the Holy Ghost can inhabit your life and you don't need no pill you don't need no, no psychiatrist anymore because it's all about about the money rather than deliverance. Hey, glory to God. So the second request, glory to God, the man was, glory to God, uh, the demon tell Jesus, Jesus, don't cast into the into the country, but cast it into the swine. And the Bible said, Jesus said, go. And the Bible said the demons went fast and they went into the swine and they choked. It was about 2,000 that choked into the water. My friend, the man, but the Bible said, the man was delivered and sitting and clothed in his right mind. So I'm telling you, if you want to be delivered, hallelujah, you, you got to know, glory, without a shadow of a doubt, this is not no mental disorder. This is a demonic disorder. Hey, glory to God. And the Bible says, the man was delivered and sitting and closed in his right mind. So there was no more pill. There was no more isolation. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. This man, glory to God, decided to leave the cemetery. He decided to leave the mountaintop. Hallelujah. And you want to go with Jesus. What? He want to go with you. But Jesus Christ said, I want you to go home and tell what good thing the Lord has done unto you. So if you are, a, if you are a person, they have bipolar. Tell them, my friend, if you do you want to be delivered? And I'm gonna tell you, glory to God, as I go down, hallelujah, how to be delivered from bipolar. Hallelujah. And the Bible say, my friend, hey, glory to God, this man was sitting clothed in his right mind. I mean, the Bible say, let this mind be in you, which was in Christ Jesus. And the Bible say, they that keep their mind stayed on me, I keep them in perfect peace that trusted in me. So if you want deliverance, glory to God, you got to have the mind of Jesus. Don't get the, don't let the devil control your mind. Don't let the devil, my friend, give you different personalities, my friend. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, if you get in contact with Jesus, you will never be the same. What I say, if you get in contact with Jesus Christ, you will never absolutely, positively never be the same. When the Bible says, if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Old things are passed away. All things become new. Hey, glory to God. So, hallelujah, this man was right in his right mind. Suggested you will be always be lingered with these demons living in your temple, which is your body. My friend, bipolar is a demonic. Hallelujah. And if it is not suggested, you will always be lingered with demons living in your temple, which is your body. That's why I say, when, the Bible says, when an unclean spirit leaves a man or woman, he go through dry places and seek a rest and find none. Then he say, I'm going to go back into my house. That's why, glory to God, Joshua 24, 15, he say, for me and my house. We're going to serve the Lord. My friend, make a decision to let the Holy Ghost come in your house. Because if you have the Holy Ghost, no demon can come back in the house. Because you have a housekeeper. And the housekeeper is the Holy Spirit. That's why he told, hey, glory to God, the disciples, I want you to wait in Jerusalem until you've been dowered. 
power oh glory to god hallelujah power from on high hallelujah so when the power of the holy ghost is in your body in your temple my friend that's what the bible said present your body as a living sacrifice holy Hallelujah, which is a reasonable service, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by renewing of your mind. God wants your mind, and the devil wants your mind. If the devil got your mind, he let you be have bipolar. Hey, glory to God, split personality, split behavior. Hey, glory to God. Now, I'm almost done. How how to be delivered from bipolar? Hey, glory to God. I'm so glad you asked. There's four R's. In your deliverance first you got release and say I'm possessed with demons stop saying that you got a brain disorder hey glory to God no it's your personalities so first you got release it release and say I'm you got to identify the source the source is demons the source is not no brain disorder you got you got you got to you recognize hey glory to God that you got a demon hey glory to God you wasn't born with this demon you were not born with bipolar something happened and what happened hey go to God demon jump into your personality but I'll come to tell somebody release it Hallelujah, and say, I am possessed. You got to you gotta identify, my friend. You got to identify, identify who you are. I am a child of God. From this day forth, no more demon going to control me. That's number one. Number two. No, no, no. Number one. Number one was run to Jesus. And number two was release it and say, I'm possessed with demon. Like the man did. The man saw Jesus. He ran to Jesus. Hey, glory to God. And then the second thing, he released and say, I'm possessed with demon. Jesus Christ said, what is your name? They say, we are legion, call your men. So number one, you must run to Jesus. Number two, you must release it and say, I'm possessed. You must identify that you got a demon. If you can identify you need a pill, you must recognize that, glory to God, you need a power to heal you. Number three, hey, glory to God, return. Hallelujah, return. Return to your normal state. You didn't. I know David said he was born in sin and shape of iniquity, but re return, return. In the church of Ephesus, return to your first love. Return to your first state. You was normal, and then over the years you become possessed. So return, return the house back to to the owner. The owner, my friend, is the Holy Spirit. Let the Holy Spirit own your house. Hey, glory to God. In the book of Acts, my friend, it say, hallelujah, when Peter was preaching about Jesus and the men, their, it pricked their heart. They said, men and brethren, what shall we do? And Peter said, repent and be baptized, every one of you, for the remission of your sins, and ye shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost for the promises unto you and to your children. Hallelujah. So, number one, you must run to Jesus. Number two, you must release and say, I'm possessed with demons. Number three, return to the to the owner of letting the Holy Spirit live in your house by Acts 2.38. And number four, and I'm gone. Remember God through Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. That God can deliver you and set you free. No more pills. No more psychiatrists. No more. Hallelujah. When I say run to Jesus, release and say I'm possessed. Return, hallelujah, to your normal state and say, Holy Ghost, come into my house. And for remember God, through Jesus Christ, can and will deliver you now. Hey, glory to God, hallelujah, amen. So my question, glory to God, hallelujah, is mental illness demonic or is it, is it a mental disorder? It's demonic. It's all about the money. It ain't about delivery. It's all about a band-aid. You band-aid a situation rather than get delivered. Look at Asa. The Bible said Asa was a king. And he spent his money on the physician. And the Bible say he died of a, of a feet disease. Rather than going to the physician, rather than going to the Lord, he went to the physician. He put more trust in the physician. And the Bible say he died of a feet disease 
But the Bible talk about a woman that had an issue of blood for 12 long years. She spent all her money on the physician. And she, be, she wasn't getting better. She was getting worse. And a person got bipolar, you getting worse. Because you taking pill, you going to mess with your liver. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. And the Bible says this woman, she heard Jesus. And she got on her knees and touched the hem of his garment. And Jesus Christ said, who touched me? And Peter said, Jesus, you see all the people around you. And he said, who touched you? Jesus Christ said, hallelujah, virtue went out of me because I was touched. And you saw the lady, and she was trembling, and said, Daughter, you are healed. Why? Because she had faith to touch Jesus. Jesus might not be here today, my friend, but if you get in contact with the word of God, he said, I sent forth my word and healed them. My word should not come back void. My word is power, is deliverance, my friend. The word is spirit, and their life is not by power, nor by might, but by my spirit, say the Lord. The letter kill it, but a spirit make alive. I'm telling somebody, if you got bipolar, hey, go to God, come to Jesus, and Jesus will heal your mind. He will set your mind free. Hey, go to God. Don't stop. Stop taking those pills. Stop taking those to control you. Hey, go to God. Get deliverance through the mighty power of God. God is not dead. God is alive. And you got to believe the power that vested in you, my friend. Jesus Christ said, I come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Go to God. John 10 verse 10, he said, the devil come to steal, kill, and destroy. But Jesus Christ come that you may have life and have it more abundantly. Come on now. It feels so awkward. feels so bad. You locked up into a place where they give you medicine. They give you a pill and they strap you down. Hey, glory to God. Everybody banging their head on the wall. And the only way to control you is to give you a pill. It's time for you to be introduced to the potentate. It's time for you to be delivered with your purpose, your purpose, glory to God. God wants you free. God wants you delivered right now. Hallelujah. Bipolar is a demonic state. I said it. It's all about the money. It's all about the pharmaceutical making big money and you are bound. You are in captivity. But Jesus Christ said, I come that you may have life. Jesus Christ said, glory to God, my ministry. He glory to God is to preach the gospel to the poor. He glory to God, set the captive free to give deliverance. Hallelujah. Them that are bound by demonic. How glory to God. Hey Amen. It's demonic. Hey, yes, bipolar is demonic. It's a demonic state, my friend. Why? Because you can say that I need my pill to feel okay. I bind that spirit right now. Hey, glory to God. It's all about the money. It's all about, about a pharmaceutical making big money while you bound, while you can't go home to your family. You locked up in a room, glory to God, with all these crazy people around. I come and tell you, my friend, get in contact with Jesus. Say a prayer with me. Say, Father, in the name of Jesus, I want to be free from bipolar. Come out, you lying demon. Come out, my body. But this body belongs to God. This body belongs to the Holy Spirit. I am free from this day right now. Come out. What is your name? Your name is captivity. Your name is bound. Your name, I want to be, I want to bound. Rest your life. The devil is a liar. I want to be free right now. Oh, God, come into my life. Come into my, my body right now. Oh, God, help me. Hallelujah. Help. Help. Help me. What does help mean? Help me healing. Help me everything. Help me. Help me, Lord, and peace. The power. The power. So healed. Hey, glory to God. Every hey, glory to God. Energy. Hallelujah. L mean Lord and P mean the power. The power of the Holy Ghost to heal your mind. Oh God, regular this mind right now, Jesus. You say your word. They that keep their mind stayed on me, I keep them in perfect peace. Oh God, you say cast down high imagination and everything that exalts against the knowledge of God and bring into captivity right 
right now in the name of Jesus come out your lying demon come out of this body this body belong to God this body belong to God wherever are you up in there right now I, I send the power that vested come out this house right now come out your lying demon come out hallelujah the blood of Jesus against you if Jackie is looking at this video right now freedom coming to your house deliverance coming to your house no more captivity no more being bound it's time to be free right now I am free praise the Lord I am free no more bound no more I am free Praise the Lord. I am free. Hallelujah. No more bound. No more power. In the name of Jesus. Come out. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We have the victory. In the name of Jesus. No more bound. No more. The Bible says the man went home with his parents. He want to he wanna go with Jesus. But Jesus Christ said go and tell what good thing the Lord has done for you. I'm telling you today after listening to this prayer, hallelujah, you are free, glory to no more pills, no more psychiatrists, no more couch, no more going to and strapping me down. I am free. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I am free because if it confess the Lord with the mouth and believe in the heart, thou shalt be saved. Confess that I'm saved. I believe that God raised Jesus Christ from the dead. Hallelujah. If thou confess with the mouth and believe in the heart that God has raised him from the dead, you are saved. Hallelujah. Confess the Lord. Confess. Confess the Lord. If you confess the Lord today, you are free from bipolar. Tell that demon, get out of my house. Tell that demon, you can't live here no more. Evict him right now and tell him, get out my house. My house belongs to God. The Bible says he was clothed in his right mind. Hey, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's time to be free, sister. It's time to be free, brother. Hallelujah. It's time your deliverance cometh to this house. Your house belongs to God. Don't don't let them lie to you that this a this is a problem for going to spend the rest of your life. The devil is a liar, and the Bible says, hey, Hallelujah! The devil is a liar like the father of lies, because the devil come to steal, he come to kill, he come to destroy. But Jesus Christ come that you may have life, and that you may have it more abundantly. Jesus Christ said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man come to the Father but by me. I am free. Praise the Lord. I am free. No more bound. Amen. Father God, in the name of Jesus Christ, oh God, this person that's watching this video, oh God, let them know that, oh God, demons is in this house. And it's time to kick the demons out right now. It's time, glory to God, to be delivered, to be free right now. Hashatabo. In the name of Jesus, oh God, let them let this person that's, that's watching this video speak to the demon, hallelujah, that called bipolar. Speak to the demon called schizophrenic right now. And it's not my brain, it's my spirit. Hallelujah. Comes into my spirit, come into my mind. I am free right now. Oh God, give me the mind. Give me your mind so I can be free right now, Jesus. Oh God, I confess with my mouth. I believe that God has raised Jesus Christ from the dead I, and I am saved. From this day forth, I confess that Jesus is real. I confess Jesus Christ is King. I confess Jesus Christ is King of King and Lord of Lord. Oh God, save me right now. Let me be a new person. Oh God, bless right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And if you have a time, hey, glory to God, I want you to get baptized. Yes, I want to get baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. And the Bible says, once you get baptized, my friend, you will never be the same. Because the Bible says, shall we continue to sin that grace may abound? God forbid, how shall we live any the longer therein? So find a pool, hallelujah, glory to God, and get baptized in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. Because baptism doesn't save you, but it gives you a conscience to the word of God. Hallelujah. When when Nicodemus came to Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ said he must be baptized, hallelujah, of the water and baptized of the spirit to enter into the kingdom of God. So today, welcome to the family of God. Hallelujah. I extend a right hand fellowship for you 
to accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and as your Savior. God bless you. And don't forget to subscribe to my video and give me a thumbs up. Hey, glory to God on this video. So bipolar is demonic.